Hello, this is the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim, and I want to give today's date, which is February the 11th, 2019, and what a great day today, and I want to hand this over right to Miss Vegas. All right, well, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us on this uh, YouTube Market Report. So the stocks I'm going to talk about, some of them are just also a follow-up, because we did have some swing and some activity finally in these stocks. So the stocks we're going to talk about, I have to mention you, which is Sears. And we're going to talk about, of course, shrimp. All you shrimp lovers out. And we have, we're going to talk about Fitbit. We're going to talk about AVP, which is Avon. And we're going to talk about APPS. So we're going to get started with uh sears now you guys know that uh this actual stock is on the otc market and i did share with you guys last week fresh off the news i think it was on thursday uh maybe wednesday or thursday and i said you know this just got released after hours that the bankruptcy judge has approved um you know the ownership to go to eddie lampert which he also has a hedge fund and he is the chairman and he's the owner of um, ESL Investments. And, uh, you know, this would assist with 45,000 jobs. But I'm reading now that it's 50,000 jobs. And, um, you know, he's one of the key reasons that um, the hedge fund manager was able to fend off liquidators against long odds for the control of Sears. Um, so that was a stock to definitely be watching. Um you know, there was his advantage was that there was no other plan that contemplated keeping the jobs. And I think that was really good. Like, like I said, you know, when we read the news that, you know, he, you know, he's going to get to keep the company or take over. I think that was a really good thing for Sears in terms of also how would the market react to the news? And we did talk about how, you know, keep this on watch. You might want to swing trade it. And wow, what a move it had today. And Jim, over to you to talk about that, because I'd love to hear today's action and also like, can you actually foresee with those amazing charts that you tell us about? Yes, uh, Miss Vegas called this out last Thursday, and I'm gonna, first I'm going to pull up a, a 20 day chart. And we had a little bumpy ride right up here when it hit 83 and then it pulled back. So um, let me bring this down a little bit. But last Thursday, she called this out, and then it had a good run Friday, and then today it had a big run today. It ran to $1.50, and we had that little price target at $1.5527 from last week. So it hit all my little channels right in here of, of resistance in that three-day period. And this is Sears, and we closed right at, at about 141 and I'm going to draw a little trend line right here where I think that resistance is. Or that's going to be now a support. So I always say don't jump into these stocks. Let them kind of pull back on you so you can get a good entry. And I'm going to call the pullback on this one today right around between this first maybe this 128 area. 120, almost 129 to 131.64. So if this thing pulls back to that area, I might get in. And then I've got another little support area right here. Oh, this is real nice right here. I like this one a lot. This $1.22. I'd like to see it pull back to that entry level of $1.22. And I'm going to pull you up just the day's chart today to show you how beautiful a run it was. I called it out in the room right here when it touched down to this level right here, right around 106 is where I said support was going to be. I had a price between 104 and 110. So I called that 106 area, and some jumped in, some didn't, I don't know. But then she just ran on up, hit that 128.77, which I called today, tomorrow's support at. You can see why I called it. It has a little consult, consolidated period. Now I play these stocks off the 50, the 100, and the 200 SMA, and we got a little tight squeeze right down here. You can see that tight squeeze where, that, where I called that breakout. And that breakout, now, as, as the bands expanded, the thing run up, and it followed that 50 SMA all the way up. And then we had a little period right here where it can started consolidating. And that's when I tell people, you know, you might want to set your stops, or you might want to go ahead and um, take your profit 
or maybe if you're not in it, wait for a pullback. And it pulled back right to that resistance level right here. You can see me draw this line right here. And that was right around 121. So if you got in at that 122 area, which would probably have been a better spot for you, it would have went ahead and ran up to that previous high of 150, and we pulled back to 141. So I'm going to be watching this tomorrow morning. I want to see it pull back to one of my moving averages, maybe see these tighten up a little bit. But I'm starting to get very bullish on this stock right now. But we're, I think we're at a little resistance area, and it's probably going to consolidate after that beautiful breakout here into close. And like Miss Vegas said, it saved 45,000 jobs, and soon it will be, out of, be uh, out of bankruptcy. And the next one we're going to talk about is the most consumed species in the ocean, and that is shrimp, S-H-M-P. Okay, so S-H-M-P, I mean... And I just, you know, going higher and higher. And I mean, people are just making so much money on it. But, you know, sometimes with these um, setups, I mean, you have to be cautious because it's moved so much. And uh, I am just so impressed with shrimp hitting in the 90s today. I think it went as high as, what was it, N almost 95 cents? Yes. And then pulled well. back. <laughs> So Jim's going to talk about this amazing chart, and I am going to still talk about shrimp because we talked about it uh, yesterday and said, have this on your watch for tomorrow, which is today's Monday. And if you listen to the YouTube and the market report, you would have made money on this stock. And because it's so cheap, um, you know, you could have done quite well. So I like it, and I'm going to see what Jim has to say if he still likes it because it's had an amazing, amazing run. Uh, and, and can we still see more coming out of shrimp? I don't know. Uh, so let's hear what Jim has to say about that. Yeah. When did you say you spoke about this first at about one seven five? You know what? Uh, yeah, I here. I actually bought up this shrimp stock, uh, back in January, 0 0.175. That's right. And that, that's, that's unbelievable. And the things just ran every day with a new high, new high, new highs, new highs. And then the last two weeks, we've really had a pretty nice breakout. Actually, the past seven days. But actually, you know, the past two weeks, it's ran from this area right around 3.43 cents all the way up to a high today of 93.76. Uh, and so every day, it's had an opportunity for you to get in this stock on a pullback. After today's breakout was very, very beautiful. I mean, we have what you call a spinning top right here. Where it just, I mean, this thing bounced right off of the previous high, ran all up and hit that high right there. So I'm going to pull up the daily. And I'm going to show you yesterday's little run, how it had, and how it pulled back to my trend line right here that I have. And you see how it pulled back and then right before close. And then this morning when she, we got out of the gate, she ran up all the way to 9.3 and then she started just kind of consolidating all day long. Hitting the previous high for support level. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Right in here, you got that previous high from the day before, and then it touched down right here to that previous high. So that, to me, it was an indicator that this is going to be a good little buy right here at around 70 cents. And if you got in it at that, and I said every day, you have opportunities to flip this stock. Just and, and I was telling people, uh, told a lady on stock twits, I said, you know, she was getting kind of antsy on it. and She was going to hold it. And if she would have held it, she would have got it, brought it, and it would have come up here on her. But you never know. So she got out of it at a high right here, and it pulled back right there to that low. And, I mean, she could have lost some pretty good 20 cents right there. Instead, it ran all this morning. It broke out first thing this morning. Pulled back to that previous high that we had the, the day before. And then we closed at pretty well, much at almost to the top here. She's closed right now at um, 844, and after hours, it's still at 844. And this is shrimp. I think if we're going to get in it, it could break out again, and it's got to break this resistance level right here. Let me draw this trend line in. This is what I like so much about TOSS. I just love the tools that it has, and... And I'm going to put my little extended trend line there. So we got to break this 90 cents, almost 91 cents before 
we jump up to the pre to the today's high, which was right around nine three seven six, right in that area right there. So let's see if we can get in this thing on the breakout. If not, I'm going to play the pullback, and I'm going to scalp it for maybe. I don't think the scalp was be as big as it was today, but we're getting up to that dollar mark, and that's where our target was. We, we keep adding targets on this thing because it's just running so well. And this is shrimp. Keep it on your watch list. We have not stopped. We have not stopped talking about it yet, but I'm telling you, don't chase it play the pullbacks and the next one we're going to talk about is something that you wear around your wrist and around your arm and it's called fit that's right and this was a swing trade idea that we gave last week and this is about Fitbit so this is apparently the company's cheapest uh, but you know users cannot buy it on their own this is called the Fitbit Inspire it's only available really if you have um, if you're an employee of a company that has health insurance plan and the plan is that the fitness tracker can be fully subsidized and issued in bulk and if the company wants your their employees to stay active um, or the health insurance provider wants to give it to you guys as a subscriber to the health benefits that you pay for from your employer it helps them to monitor your well-being. So it tracks, you know, your sleep, burned calories. It helps you um, celebrate goals. It gives you mobile alerts. It's apparently waterproof up to 50 meters. And five days of battery life. That's pretty good. And it comes also in black and sangria color options. And uh, it also has a 24-7 heart rate tracking. It also does um, monitors your sleep. I mean, this thing does so many things. I think this is pretty cool. Um, so the price is not listed only because the price does vary between the different health plan providers and employers. But it is uh, the cheapest device yet, according to Fitbit. And I guess because they're selling this probably in bulk to corporations or companies that offer health plans and want to now offer this product to their employees uh, to keep them in uh, shape uh, seems like this is a pretty good idea so as a result there's this news and uh, I think they also had their earnings too uh, looks like Fitbits had a nice little move and quite impressed with the swing trade if anyone took it please comment in the video below I'd love to hear if you took the trade and if you uh, traded green, I'm happy to hear that. Congratulations. So, Jim, what are your thoughts on Fitbit um, on what you see going forward? I mean, it moved a little bit today, but we had a high of 669. And so what do you see coming forward with Fitbit? Well, this is one of them charts I'd like to keep on watch, on your watch list, because it does have nice little pullbacks, and they're consistent and and. So right now we broke out of that pivot point area, which I had on this chart, which really was right around here, around 599, with a support level right here around 549. And we've done this in the past couple of months. And she just had a good run all the way up from the end of last year when I called out the market. I said we were going to go into a bullish uh, run here in January. And even here in February so far, she's doing pretty well. Now we broke past my little resistance level that I had, which is right around 637 to 646. And then we went up into this new high area, which is right around 664, closing at the devil's name, 6.66. And I never enter a trade at that number. I'll either get in a penny above it or a penny below it. So here we are at 664. I, I don't even draw trend lines at that number. So this could be off maybe to the 66 six area and our next resistance is going to be right around here around 675 it can pull back um, we're going to look at the daily here real fast first I'll pull up the 20 day give you an idea of how beautiful this 20 day runs been from 566 all the way up to 666 so that's a whole buck in 20 days now I'm going to look at this 20 day chart and I'm going to show you where I think it could pull back there's two support levels and a low support the first support is going to be right around 646. The second support is going to be right around 627. 
and the low support is going to be right around six dollars so if it knives on you don't be too worried about it I think we're at a good level right here it was oversold and it has bounced up to kind of like I could set a pivot point area which is run into a resistance and the resistance is right at 664 and she could pull I'm gonna repeat this one more time and feel free to stop this chart anytime you'd like these are off my extended trend lines the yellow ones the blue ones I've just added in here recently so the 646 is where we had this last breakout and we broke above my broke above my last resistance that I had at 637 I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers out but I'm telling you this 646 if it pulls back it's gonna be a good little spot then I'm gonna add one little trend line right here at 655 in case it don't want to get down there and I'm gonna pull up the year's chart just to, have to tell you how beautiful I call how I think of a, a good looking chart is if you want to keep one on a watch list it seems like it just pulls back beautifully you could have little bounce plays on this trade and if you just time it right like the big gap we had right here and then she pulled on back during that bad December and then bam you know she's back up here again to that last re to one of the resistance levels and you still have more room to run but let's try to pull it back to that 646 area and that is fit and when, then we got something that every lady loves and I do believe they might sell some men products too and that's Avon AVP Miss Vegas yeah, so AVP, you know, uh, we were, and, uh, we, you know, we did say, was this not the company that has the, um, the new executive, and I believe he is a man, was he a man, Jim? Yep. First time in a long time that Avon has a man in charge of the, uh, you know, mar of the um, cosmetics industry. But nothing wrong with that. I mean, hey, listen, shape this around. Uh, even better for the industry. So, Avon, we did mention, too, that this is something for you guys to watch uh, for a swing trade. And this has had a beautiful, beautiful run. Now, this stock, I'm just following up on it because we did talk about this. I noticed today, also in the during the day, you know, was having a little bit of resistance here, I think at 255, but it, you know, finally did break through. And then again at 264. So I do like where it had the high of day here of 274. You know, it didn't have a huge run, but it's moved nicely from when we've talked about this. Um, so I'm definitely congratulations to anyone that even swing traded this. But I think, you know, Avon has a future because we also noticed uh, 13G filing. And uh, the 13G filing looks like also an amendment because uh, the company that has it, I think it's Miller, uh, they actually had a position already in Avon and looks like they've added some more shares. They now have, I think it's 35 million shares. Just so you guys know, this float is massive. So it's in the 430 millions. Uh, so there's a lot of shares to go around. Um, but certainly there is a disclosure here of a 13 G and it was uh, released today and this is with Miller value partners and they now have a 6.42% stake, um, actually, sorry, 8.04. So, uh, that is great, uh, that there's obviously some interest out there on Avon. And I mean, I haven't seen something like this in uh oh i don't think i've seen one like this since august last year so august was the last time that there was a 13g amendment filed and uh we haven't seen one since so i have to say uh this is actually very good news for avon and uh obviously they're confident in what's happening with the company and jim what are your thoughts on that chart because i kind of still like it for a swing yep well this is one that we we called a couple of times and we've had it on our watch list for over six months we played it down here when it was right around two bucks and i took a 20 cent scalp on it and then right in that bad month of uh december we had that serious sell-off in the market and we hit the double we hit the support level at 143 and that's where she held and she's bounced up consolidated pulled back to support level of 185 
and then we've had for the last week and a half she's ran up and then the other day when we when we called it out she pulled back to a support level here at 333 and then she's bounced up here to that other resistance level now at 270 so this is a year's chart I think we can take this on a pullback <clears throat> then once the pullback happens we need to try to break this resistance level at 291 and we got to break a couple more resistances to go on up so let me pull up the 20 day chart show you how impressive this is we had the big breakout here she pulled back and then she ran up to that resistance level at 280 a little bit under 280 around 279 pulled back to support level which is right around 233 and then for the last three days she's ran up pretty good so you had a chance after that last breakout to get in this stock on a pullback and that's why I always say keep a good watch list this one's always on my watch list and so the next resist when I'm gonna draw a little trend line right here where I think support is at 265 it can pull back again to this support level at 254 that's about where we broke out today so I'm gonna keep this on watch and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the daily just to have show you how beautiful a run it's had here in the last two days she ran up kind of consolidated yesterday and then we had the big breakout today from 249 all the way to 275 no it's not a big mover but what it is one that you can play and scalp and and make some real good money on this thing and this is Avon AVP and we have one more on the watch list that we want to discuss and that's going to be apps one of Vegas's favorite stocks uh -huh. this is one of my favorites because this is a little bit of a and you know they say it's apps digital turbine I don't know why they didn't call themselves, you know, DGTS or something. I could easier to remember the ticker. Um, but anyways, they make the apps, and that's why they call themselves apps, because they make phone apps. So I guess I can appreciate the name. Uh, but this had a nice, cute little run. I mean, it was opened at 259, went to 278. But, you know, we've been talking about this before it got here. I mean, we've had this around the, um, I think it was like 220 mark. Uh, so we've seen a nice, beautiful move, almost 50 cents per share. Uh, and I'm quite pleased with the results of this particular digital turbine. And, um, you know, digital turbine has a really cool site, if you ever check it out. I mean, some people don't really take the time, but I really like, I personally like to research the websites because it kind of gives me a feel for the company and what they do. And, um, you know, so far, I think... I'm very impressed with what they're doing. And, um, you know, they had solid, I repeat this, you know, solid, solid earnings. Uh, you know, they're out in Texas, phenomenal earnings, record-breaking profits. And we did say, you know, this is one to keep on watch. Uh, you know, follow the channel. I mean, the channel's still bullish to me. Uh, I'd love to hear what Jim has to say about that and, and hear his support and resistance and where we think that this could go next. Um, but, you know, the earnings were just phenomenal. And, I mean, the management here knows what they're doing. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, but, you know, we know the story. A stock cannot run forever and ever and ever and ever and never have a pullback. So, over to Jim now to talk about that. Because, uh, for now, <laughs> it's still looking healthy. But it always has, you know, eventually it's going to come to us some sort of pullback. Yep. So, Jim, yep. let us hear all about it. Well, I'm looking at a good cup and handle right here big old cup right there and then the handles starting to form right here and it, I mean these kind of handles are my 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 favorite ones when they just go straight up almost you know just almost a straight up pattern so we had a double top breakout four days ago on this stock and Vegas and I discussed it we had to break this little resistance area where we had previously had a double top breakout you see what I'm talking about right here on a one year's chart and that was the resistance line of 250 252 so she hit this high right here right around 231 232 and pulled back to support level which was this previous high right here and i'm going to circle that real fast because i like that little spot there and i want to show you how important sometimes these little areas are and then she pulled back and she ran into my yearly moving averages where we had a golden cross right here with the 50 running up so that was a killer sign to say get in this stock right here off that 200 and the 50 SMA and then she bounced on up from this area which is right around 162 and I'm going to draw that on here because that attracts me quite a bit 
and I'm adding these trend lines as I go and I'm looking oh looking right about in that spot there so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there and she bounced on up hit that high level of resistance pulled back to the previous high that it had here on the year's chart created a little support level right in here and then she made a double top and, and kind of consolidated for four days and then we had a doji right here and I'm gonna magnify that up what I mean by doji that thing right there and then the next day she had a breakout so the last four days she's really run good and like Miss Vegas said the sales were excellent on this company and the popularity of it's really boomed so let me pull up let me just do this one more time so we broke the previous highs which are right around 252 now we're sitting here at a, at a whole new year high and I'm just going to take a gander at it just see what happened three years ago on this stock because this is how I try to find my resistance areas and you can tell what that double top was the last resistance that we had to break at 252 area and I go off the base of the candles not the wicks so we had a high today of 278 and I'm going to pull up a daily now first I might pull up a 20 day just to show you how charming this run is she had a pull back there that 200 kind of bounced up hit that double top area there's one right there pulled back and then she's boomed on up and we have a resistance high here at 275 but we got a break it can pull back to this area right here at 266 and if that don't hold let's try to get it down here at the 257 area and that's a you know that's that's a good little scalp area and I really want to see that thing hold right in here around right around the 257 if it decides to pull back and that will be your third support area one two three and in the chat today I talked about supports pivot points and resistances on how they co how they uh, work off of each other and sometimes when you're at a support it hits the pivot point you know it's kind of a judgment call it decides which way it wants to go if it breaks that pivot point runs up to the resistance that pivot point becomes a support so so on and so on just same as if you were down at the support and it hit the pivot point and it didn't want to break it would go back to that support area and that would be a resistance that pivot point and that's what you got to try to break so this is apps APPS I like the stock I like the run that it's had in the past five days I mean this is just a beautiful run you can't complain about going from a low down here of 210 all the way up to 274 in five days and we shouted this out before and we shouted out in the room it pops up on the scanner and I'm, I'm, I'm going right to it and that's apps and I think that concludes all the stocks we're going to talk about. But I think Miss Vegas might have a few things to say about our first day in chat today. Yeah, so I just want to say congratulations. Uh, you know, we had a great I Love Stocks Day in our chat room. And we had an amazing transition. And um, we're so grateful and thankful to everyone that joined and visited. And uh, welcome, everyone. And I had so many great new women traders come by big support of women traders. I support everyone. I mean, I don't care what gender you are. I accept everyone. I love everyone. I just love that people can just feel comfortable to come here and learn. And Jim did an amazing lesson today on charts uh, during some downtime. And the market was a bit slow today. So we took advantage of the lull. And, uh, you know, uh, Jim did a little lesson today in the in live in, in the room. And that was extremely helpful. Um, because it's very hard sometimes to explain things during the day when it's extremely busy. So, you know, we took advantage of the time that it's a little bit slower. Uh, certainly try to use that time to teach things to members of the room or even visitors that are coming in the room. We just like helping people. So uh, thank you so much for coming by. And again, if you want to come by uh, anytime, please uh, go to the link in the video. You're welcome to come. Love to see you. Come by and say hi. Again, you don't have to join after the free trial. Just come by for the time that you're there for the few weeks free. And hopefully you'll like your experience. And if you don't, please share with us what we can do to make it better. And we're open to any feedback. So thank you so much. And thanks, Jim. It was a great day today. 
and uh, excited about tomorrow. And I really hope the market will be a little more exciting um, for everybody. So on that note, I thank you all and have an amazing night. Yep. And, and I think today was a, a, an exciting day because even when the the stocks ain't running, you still have a watch list. You, there's always a play to be made and and there's always time to learn. And that's what's good about our channel. I think today on Voice we had more than 96 people listening at one time. And that's not bad for the first day out. And I was quite impressed with that. Uh, we did transition from another room. And, and it just seemed like it went very well this morning. I'm a man with patience. You know, I like to see things happen. I like to see things roll out. And today was just a wonderful day for the first day in the chat. And... If you please, I would love for you to subscribe to our channel, write comments down below, uh, tell us what kind of stocks you want us to look at. Maybe we might post one on our aftermarket report if it's intriguing to us. And also ring that bell. That bell is very important because you get your updates. And we do one of the, we try to do one of these. We're going to try to do one of these every day. And we're even going to start doing them during the market hours so we can kind of free up some time in the afternoon because we're at this from 9 to 5 to sometimes 6 o'clock in the evening and and right now eastern time it's 6 o'clock it's 5 o'clock midwestern so we don't play around with this we like to help the people that are having troubles that are having issues and even every novice trader learns something new and this is going to be the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim today's dates the second February, I mean, excuse me, the 11th, 2019, and I love stocks.